What's going on you guys? Ryan Quillen here, also known as Medicine Man, with the cure to all of your gaming needs. And today it's the start of another beautiful day in the world of Monster Hunter. Now today's main topic is decorations. In this video I will be covering all of the best decorations, what they look like, rarity level, what they do, and so on and so forth. Alrighty, let's get started. Onward to the Chest of Wonders. Let's see what we got. All right. Now, there are three types of decorations, or three sizes, I should say. You have the small, which is takes up one slot. That's what they look like. You have the medium, which is a two-slotter. And, of course, you have the big dog ones, the three-slot decorations. Now, just because a decoration is three-slot doesn't mean that it's better than certain one slaughters it just means that's how they were allocated because i know a couple of one slaughters that are far better than certain three spotters but for the sake of argument a lot of decorations that are two or three slot betters are obviously better than say a one slaughter but there are always exceptions to every rule now let's get started I'm not going to cover every single decoration, just the ones of note. First off, we have the defense. The defense decoration. Now, if you have, it increases your defense by five every time, as you can see. When you get up to level four, it'll give you plus three resistance to all elemental statuses which is nice to have it's it's a it's it's nice it's okay especially for our younger hunters you know now moving right along to the attack very similar except it increases in increments of three instead of five and after you get to your level four it gives you plus five percent affinity which is really nice to have next you have one of my favorite decorations Whenever we uh, scroll right a little bit, you'll see how I have this equipped on every armor set because it increases your health by 15, 30, then by 50 points. I mean, after you eat a good meal, seeing how you, let's say you had enough fresh ingredients to get the full plus 50 health, you'll be up to 150. With this all the way up, you'll be at plus 200 health. Now, as far as survival goes, this is paramount. This is an amazing decoration. And it's only a one slaughter. You know, it's a small decoration. And it's a rarity six. I mean, it's not too hard to get this, you know. But it's paramount to keep it. Next, you have the recovery jewel. This is also a one slaughter. And you'll recognize this ability from the Valhazak armor set heavily influenced by it at least you know and you'll see that every time it doubles and triples and quadruples your health regain which is really good i mean it's only recoverable damage though the red portion of the gauge but with three pieces of valhazak it'll keep going until you're completely healed you know pretty good decoration here you know rarity six next you have your different elemental ones you'll see how i have three of each Fire, water, ice, thunder, dragon. It is Im so important to have at least, or at least three, to have three, because you can't do anything more if you have, like, more than three, obviously. But you'll see how it could give you up to plus 20 resistance, which is phenomenal, especially if you're fighting something that's, heavy on the elemental damage like a Kirin or something that breathes fire like a Rathalos, you know. And as a bonus, whenever you get at max level 3, it'll give you plus 10% or plus 10 points of defense, which is nice to have, you know. Next, you have another one of my favorite ones. Rarity 6, so it's not too hard to get. And it is the Resistor Jewel. The, now, the Resistor Jewel... As far as the elemental attacks go, fire, you'll be on fire, stop, drop, and roll three times, water blight, ice blight, you know, it'll mess up your stamina gauge, you know, making it, you'll expend that much more stamina, thunder, you'll get paralyzed easier, and dragon, it, it'll completely negate those, you know, different blights, you know, 
one of my favorites here. And you'll see how I have this equipped on most of my armors because it's it, it's just amazing. I love this one. This one and the health boost one, some of my favorites. Moving right along. Of course, you have your damage boosters, you know. Eh, not that great, you know. I know a lot of people disagree with me, but there are a lot of better things to have in those slots. Now, you have your different special status ailment boosters. Now, they go up to three of them, and on the third one, you get plus 20% buildup, and from all of them, you get at least plus 10 points of, you know, attack, or damage, <laughs> specific to that element you know i mean it's great to have especially you know if you look at the physiology of a monster and say oh it's weak to paralysis i have three of these one slaughters you know i'm gonna equip those and my paralysis buildup will be plus 20 percent that's great to have you know paralyze the shit out of that monster you know and the venom one is the only one that's rarity six now the paralyzer the sleep and the blast are all rarity level sevens, but also all single, small, you know, one slaughters. Next, we have the expert jewel. It increases your affinity by three percent up to rank two, and then after that, it goes in increments by five, as far as affinity goes. Good to have, nice fillers. You know, there are better things to have in that slot though. Okay, moving right along. You have your Fortitude Jewel. Now this was one of the first decorations that I've ever acquired. And it was from the event which actually is going on now. The Triple Threat Throwdown. Only this is a replay of the event that whenever I first started a few months ago they had the event back then. And you'll get different Fae Stones. Now I'm going to touch base on what percentages and of different rarity level decorations you can get from that this event but that's later on in the video but for the sake of now the fortitude jewel as you can see it was an amazing skill to have back then and i guess now but there are better things to have now because i really don't get carded hardly ever you know being this late in the game you know if you've been playing the game for like 400 plus hours you know how the monster is going to attack and if you do die shame on you you know or you're trying out a new set, or you're playing the arena, and if you're not that great at the arena like me, you'll end up breaking a few controllers, and, you know, could get kind of costly. But whenever you get carted away, it gives you plus 10% attack, plus 15% defense. That's amazing. You know, I mean, that's awesome. You know, I love it. You know, rarity level 5, and... It's 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 so simple to get. Really easy to get, you know? Nice to have. Next we have the Sheath Jewel. Uh, I I tried to use this on the Lance because that's one of the slowest weapons to put away. It was okay. I mean, with three of them equipped, it might knock off a half a second to a whole second of putting your Lance away. Not really worth the time or the effort. You know, so moving right along, eh, friendship jewel. I'm a solo player. I don't even have the trophy for shooting an SOS up in the air. You know, this this does nothing for me. You know, increase the wide range skill. Psh, waste of time. You know, but yeah, I really need to get PlayStation Plus so I can start getting out there. People will see me as a random because I usually run with you know a bunch of equipment that increases the chances of me getting items like. Kieran, or Guild Skill, Great Luck, whatever, you know. I, I, I never use my max, you know, armor sets anymore. Hardly ever. Okay, now we have the Grinder Skill. Now, this is a really, really good skill. You know, rarity level 6. And every time you equip one, it takes off a... Uh, it takes off one cycle of the grind. Now, whenever you gr sharpen something, it's one, two, three, four. Uh. Now, that took a long time, you guys. I mean, in the time it would take me to sharpen something, I would have probably got 
slapped around by a monster and I would not be too happy. And shut up phone. Okay. Turn my phone off. I really need to just have my phone off. God. Okay. Now, if I were to equip another grinder jewel, let's see. All three grinder jewels, knock three cycles off, one and done. Nice to have. Fast as lightning. Great thing to have. You know? Okay, now let's move along and see what we got going on next. Next, take those off. Let's see, grinder. Alrighty, next we have the fungiform. This is one of the only decorations that is uh, a small decoration, but it's rarity 8. And that's because it gives you the ability to eat different mushrooms. Now, if you actually go in, a lot of people have actually made videos about this. This is old news though. Okay, let's see, magic items, let's see, uh, shrooms. Uh, da, 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 da. Change equipment. Alright, I'll show you how this works. Now, with this equipment, I have level 3 Mushroom Answer. Now, if you did a toadstool, then Parish Room, it'll give you max, all these will give you max defense, max stamina, max attack, max defense and mandragro max health boom and then you could just switch your armor and go and kill whatever you're trying to go kill you know fun to have a lot of fun but uh, that's me just basically quickly touching base on the subject now let me take all that stuff off uh, so i can continue on for the sake of this video but yeah, that's basically what the fungiform does. You know, you get three of them, but I mean, you just equip the pig's head and one more piece of armor that gives you plus one, you know, shroom ability, and you got it. I mean, it's mundane. Let's see, where did we leave off? Ah, where did we leave off? Iron Walker specimen to uh, crisis. All right. Let's move on to the Mirewalker eh, situational scent jewel. Now this was really, really cool early on because whenever you're researching monsters, it gives you plus 50% boost on the gauge. So, I mean, you research the monsters a lot quicker. It's a rarity five, I believe. I don't want to say it's a six. I want to say it's a five. You know, which, why don't they put the rarity levels right next to the decorations? Why? It, it doesn't make sense to me. Like, I have to go for, uh, I have to go off the top of my head. But I've been playing this game so long, I just know these things, you know. But, okay, it's nice to have early on when you're researching monsters, but later you outgrow it. Next, we have the Miasma Jewel. Now, another situational one, but it's situational when it comes to fighting Valhazak. You know, or, I guess, also, you know, any kind of other monster in the miasma but i mean i never when i was fighting say Udagoran or any or anything in the miasma i really didn't use this except for val hazak because when he hits you with his miasma he takes about two-thirds of your health away until you eat a null berry to cancel out that effect now with three of these equipped which it's only it's only a single space and uh, rarity five i believe might be rarity eh, i think it's rarity five it will completely cancel out that effect making him cry like a little bitch in the corner you know who you just took their candy away from i mean it it it, 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 null, it nulls his main you know attack weapon you know his main weapon which is his miasma attack you know what i mean it nullifies it it's amazing it's wonderful to have keep it keep three of them if you don't want to keep his whole set handy which you know can be kind of eh I, I just like to have three of them and put them on whatever the hell set i want to you know wear against them during that specific fight next you have the steadfast jewel prevent stun keep three of these if you're tired of that um uh, Dilophosaurus type of monster, you know, the one that stuns you, you know, hitting you with its beam, you know, 
or any kind of monster hitting you, slapping you around enough to where you get stunned, keep three of these. I mean, rarity five or six. I'm, I'll be honest, I don't know for this one. Five or six. And it, it it's, it's just nice to have, you know. Let's see. Also, Vitility. See what I'm talking about? I have a Vitility on everything. Recovery. Boom. Right there. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Ooh, protection. Very nice. I know for a fact that this one's rarity five, you know, so you can get this one really early on. And it gives you the Legiana ability, Divine Blessing. Phenomenal ability, you know. 15, 30, then 50% chance to negate that much damage. That's awesome. I mean... It's only a one slot or two, so you could easily, you know, put the slap three of these bad boys down or how many you want. And whenever you get hit, it has a chance to take away 50 or negate 50% of the damage you receive. Keep this one handy. Easy to get. Fantastic. This is what I'm talking about. This is an example of not only uh, one slot you know, tiny gem, you know, being better than most three stack big daddy gems, but it's also a rarity five. You can get this whenever, you know, and even a late end game, you know, you'll be using it. All right, next, wind resistance. I mean, you have a few dragons, Rathalos, you know, a few things, you know, basil guys, you know, Beetlejuice, whatever, you know, that hits you with wind gusts, stun you for a second. Eh, not worth it, you know. Footing Jewel, a couple of monsters that like to hit the ground really hard, you know, send you stumbling. But in the time that it takes you to recover, you'll be able to roll away. I mean, it's it's okay. Okay, Critical Jewel. Ah, yes, another fantastic jewel right here. This gem is amazing. This is the last one that I got. It took the entire... 400 plus hours to get and I only got it like a couple days ago, you know, this is the last gem that I was grinding for it took forever and this is since rank 50 all I've been doing is hunting elder tempered elder dragons, you know I haven't been cheesing any kind of way to get bring my you know hunter rank up, you know I've just been fighting elder dragons to just get the warrior stones the hero stones and i got like health regen on almost every weapon you know but except my hammer of course except though i love that hammer that's my it's my go-to weapon if i want to murder anything you know and the only hero stone i do not have is for the hammer I, I got I got them on so many. What, uh, it, okay, changing the subject. It's making me mad. In fact, hold on. I'm gonna change my hammer out because I don't I don't want to look at it. Nah. All right. Anything. Anything. I right, see on everything. Everything. I got so many things from six to eight. Aug augmented. Uh, I have one for that. I don't want to waste it. I don't want to wait for the DLC. Eh, 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 let's go with the katana. I like the way katanas look. I'm a fan of Quentin Tarantino movies. Why not? Okay, let's go with that one. Okay, moving right along. Where did we leave off? Okay, critical jewel. Next one is the tenderizer jewel. Very, very important great fantastic and a bunch of other words that entail the same thing to describe this jewel right here rarity seven middle size jewel it was so two slot and it every time you equip one of them it'll in first 15 then 30 then 50 percent extra affinity now for all of you people that love to use the diablo set weapons which i'm a fan of them too you know i'm not gonna lie this plus an elemental jewel and i'm gonna cover a non -el or non-elemental jewel i should say i'm gonna cover that in a second but for this one some weapons it gives you negative 30 percent affinity now with this gem or if you want to throw in a dragon king eye patch and this gem you'll easily just get it up to 50 right there you know but with 50% increased affinity, whenever you hit a weak spot like the head or the body or the wing or just wherever, you know, 
you'll you'll come out plus 20% affinity ahead, you know, in the positive, you know, if you start off in negative 30. Phenomenal decoration right here. One of my favorites. Put an asterisk by it, you know. Next one, you got the Nergagante Influence Maximum Might decoration. 10, 20, 30% affinity. Another really great decoration right here. I use this one a lot, you know, because whenever you're not doing a charge attack or standing still, have your feet planned, you're attacking, you get the 10, 20, or 30% affinity bonus. But even if you do a charge of uh, a charge attack. Whenever you let go, if the charge attack runs along for a second, your affinity is building up, unless you're using the dual blades. You know, like a hammer, you know, uh, triple charge attack. Whenever you do the final swing, your affinity is all the way up top, unless you've been holding down that right trigger for a minute, you know? Alright, moving on. Next we have the Mighty Bow. Now, this decoration... Uh, <laughs> this one, this one actually made me make a bow class. That's how good this one is. You know, you get it from equipping four piece of uh, high level Agiana equipment. It's rarity eight, obviously, uh, and most people who use bows already know. They're like, oh, I'm so jealous. I want that one. Eh. It's a great decoration. I mean, there's no other way to put it. I mean, it gives you an extra level of charge, meaning you get more damage. You know, you, you can't go wrong with more DPS. Fantastic decoration right there. Now you have the... Sh okay, now you can tell. I'm going to be fan of a lot of this stuff. The Shield Jewel. Okay. A lot of the decorations we're moving into now... I'm... I'm second and... Middle and large ones. I mean, a lot of them are... Okay, but most of them are fantastic, and that's I only have good things to say about this shield jewel. Because, <laughs> I mean, whenever you're using anything that has the capability to block something, you know, great sword, sword and shield, uh, charge blade, uh, lance, gun lance, even a heavy bow gun, you know. This, you can guard against anything, you know, you, you could, any kind of fire attack, you could, uh, Xenojiva's laser beam, you know, Valhazak's garbage breath, you know, and this is what you need to do it. Unless you want to equip, you know, four pieces of the Uragon, you know, set, which, mm, yuck. I mean, that's seriously limiting, you guys. Just get the, uh... Mm, rarity 8, you know, 2 slaughter gem. I mean, this is fantastic. I love this thing. In fact, a, a cool. I was running around and with a little bullshit class I made, you know, a little sword and shield class, you know, and you know how tiny that shield is. It's like a little buckler shield, you know. It's like the size of a saucer plate, you know. You could probably turn it over and just eat off of it, you know, the size of a dinner plate, you know. I was... Banging up Nergagante left and right, you know, blocking his attacks, you know, with this shield, including his dive bomb attacks. I mean, he came up and he tried to fucking, you know, squash me like a bug, you know, and I just held out my tiny little shield out and it just bucked me back a little bit. And I lapped in his face right before I spat on him, you know, and I wiped the floor with his face. You know, I mean, this is an amazing, this is an amazing, you know, decoration to have. Okay, moving on. Sharp. <laughs> Another one. I mean, he, Sharp, whenever you have this equipped, I mean, any weapon you have out, it's max level of sharpness that you have equipped on that weapon right now. It'll hold. See how it's, my weapon is outlined in green? Top left now? Now, it'll hold that for about a minute. And whenever that minute passes, I'll have to obviously do it again. But no matter what I do, it will not make your sharpness deplete at all. No matter what. It's amazing. And it's for a whole si uh, nice whiff right there. Great job, Brian. And... Uh, it will. It just won't let your sharpness, you know, deplete at all for an entire 60 seconds. It's amazing, you know. That's a great one to have, especially if you just have enough handicraft to touch that basic level of sharpness, you know, to be in the white tier, you know. Excellent thing to have. Okay, next, of course, you have the Elementless Jewel. I know y'all are getting tired of me saying that the, this decoration is fantastic. Oh, you need this one. Oh, it's so immense. But yeah, I mean, any kind of Elementless weapon you have if you have this equipped 
it will phenomenally increase the DPS. I mean, hammer, greatsword, it'll 100 plus, you know, points of damage. You know, it scales depending on what kind of weapon you have, but it's fucking amazing. Great thing to have, especially with Diablo sets. You know, don't miss out on these. You have a lot of them. Uh, they got away from the Elder Melder, I guess, because I had them equipped so they didn't show up. Okay. Steadfast. I think we covered that one. Prevent Stun. Nice to have. Situational. Vitality. Got plenty of them. Recovery. Covered that one. All right. Expert. Fungiform. Protection. Ah, I guess that's it. Or, no, I guess it's not it. Okay, let's see. Got my different coatings, you know, all uh, rarity or the poison coat is rarity seven or rarity six, I should say. Para, sleep, and blast, all those are rarity seven because those are much better than poison. Poison's such a waste, you know. But heavy big daddy three slaughter, you know, and on top of that, you know. It gives you the ability for you to put the coating on arrows, spread, rarity 8, you know, puts power shots in, you know, for arrows, and increases spread ammo. Dragon Seal. Now, Dragon Seal is kind of interesting. I mean, the Dragon Seal ability in itself, whenever you have a weapon like a Nergagante set or Valhazak set that has Dragon Seal, whenever you go up against an Elder and it only works up against Elder Dragons, whenever you attack it enough times with a weapon, you know, with Dragon Seal, or Elder Seal I should say, it'll make him not able to use certain attacks, or those certain attacks will be weaker. And you'll see low, medium, or high level of, you know, Elder Seal, and this will just increase it by one level. But also note that if a weapon does not have Elder Seal, equipping this to a weapon like that will not do anything. So, I mean, it's it's okay. I think it's too big for its purchase, being a three a large decoration slot, you know. And now we have the Draw Jewel. Now this is a Rarity 8 2 slaughter awesome. I love this thing, especially if you like to use the great sword or the long sword, sheath your weapon, run up to your enemy, slap them one time, you know, and you, for just the basic, you know, one level slot or level one ability, you know, it does plus 30, it gives you plus 30% affinity for your first attack. Awesome. You know, all the way up to plus 100% affinity. Love this. I love this decoration. It's great. You know, destroyer, you have Part damage plus 10, 20, 30. Awesome to have. But yeah, you, you saw what other kind of, you know, level 2 decorations are out there. Unless you don't have something else, you know, I bat bypass this one. Same goes to the KO Jewel. You know, I, I, I told you I'm a hammer user. I mean, but I... I hardly ever equip this. I mean, I, I tried the logistics behind it, you know, on certain monsters, and I really didn't see a difference, even with a stun power plus 30, you know, so waste. Such a waste. Uh, airborne, it's up, to, it's up to the how you use it. As stated, once again, I am a hammer user. I like to find me a slope, you know, do, this, do start rolling down the slope, level 3, Sonic the Hedgehog spin, so plus 10%, you know, jumping power. Eh, kind of nice to have. It adds up after a while, especially if you look at some of my other videos, especially the one against Tiestro or Kieran, you know, where I spam the hell out of them using the ability I just mentioned, you know, and they go down quick. They, I, I turn them in a, I turn them in a, you know, Elder Pancakes really fucking quick, you know, with that move. And this ability is nice to, you know, expedite that process. All right. Latent Power from the Throttle Jewel, Rarity 7, 2 Spotter, you know. Not my cup of tea, you know, because at first it was really mysterious. Oh, what conditions have to be met to unlock this ability? Uh, apparently you have to take a shit ton of damage. Not my thing, you know. Whenever, especially I like, up against Elder Dragons, you know, whenever I take a lot of damage or even get hit once, it takes about 
a quarter to a third of my life, and that's with fully upmented, aug upgraded, augmented armor. You know, heal quickly. I don't want to take a lot of damage. I want to stay healthy. You know, because at any part, at any time, they could spam you or cheese you or troll you, and you're dead. You're carted away. Fuck that. You know, skip. You know, much better things to have. All right, flawless. This is the heavily influenced by the Valhazak branch, you know. Peak performance from the Flawless Jewel, uh, Rarity 7, nice to have, you know. I mean, a lot of my things, all my weapons at the very least have health regen if, you know, I've been messing with them, you know. And on top of that, I usually use the Val set or the Nergagante set on top of that, you know. So, I mean, excellent jewel to have. All right, moving right along. We have the potential jewel. I mean, I, I don't, I'm a solo player. You know, like I said, I haven't even gotten an achievement for foot iron and SOS. You know, up into the air. I mean, with 35% health or lower, I'm not a hero. It's not worth level five. What's that? 30% boost in power and defense by 40 points? No, 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 no. At that point, you're dead. You know, at that point, if you get hit with anything, 40 points of defense is nothing. You know, all, all my weapons give me between, I mean, all my armor gives me between 450 and 500 defense anyway. So another 40 points, you, you're, I'd be dead, you know. Magazine jewel, nice for the gun lance or the, um, b -b 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 what do you call it, the charge blade, you know. Uh, gives you an extra f loading capacity. They give you five plus one, so that's an extra 20%. So whenever you do the super attack, you know, it'll give you plus 20% damage. Oh, pretty nice to have. Rarity seven or eight, I believe. You know, okay, next you have the physique. Good for bow users because you do drain a lot of energy, stamina, whatever. Whenever you're building it up, doing a little charge dance left, right, fire or whatever you know refresh jewel rarity seven another two ranker you know 10 20 30 percent uh stamina recovery evasion jewel now this is kind of an interesting skill because i mean i've tried it but uh i would really love to see the level five version of it the massively increase in vulnerability window whenever i'm evading I mean, I got it up to three, and I barely saw a diff difference, but, I mean, I would love to see the level five version, but better things to have. Now we have the jumping jewel. Now, this is a great one to have if you're, say, using the heavy bow gun where you're like a turtle, you know, wobbling around with a giant cannon, you know, and you need to get the hell out of the way, you know, if there's a dive bomb or a, some kind of an attack that you need to, you know, chunk the deuces up in the air and get the hell away from it. This is a great ability to have, you know. All right, moving on. Mighty Jewel. This is one of my favorites. Did I cover this one already? Ah, I'll cover it anyway. Twice, why not? Okay, Nergagante set uh, 10, 20, 30% affinity. As long as you have your feet planted, your affinity will start going up until it's full. Nice little boost of affinity. Seven, uh, level seven rarity, two slaughter. Slider Jewel, one of my favorites being a hammer user because whenever you slide, it gives you a plus 30% affinity, but it's only for three seconds. You know, I mean, it's slide gone slide gone slide but, i mean i spam slide attacks anyway you know using my sonic the hedgehog hammer you know i mean it it's great to have you know that extra little bit of damage you know or a lot of bit of affinity decent amount of damage all right enhancer lets you certain weapons long sword dual blade insect glaive switch axe blah 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 stay charge up longer decent to have mines i Jewel, my favorite. Okay, let me, let me let me stop in my tracks for a second. My by far my favorite jewel. Why? Here, I'm gonna show you. Pretend you're fighting Ergigante uh, or Kush Aladeor's Steel Wings. Ah, that's what the animation will look like with any weapon. Bounces, bounces like a rubber ball. But then. It's like you get tired of it. I mean, did you see how much of a del how much of a reaction time it took after I hit that thing before you know I was able to recover from it? 
I mean, within that time frame, they're batting me left and right. Not fun. But with a Manzai Jewel on any melee weapon, look at that. Come here. Come here. Ah. It's like automatically a soft part of the body, you know? It's nice. It's... That, well, that little spirit attack would have deflected anyway, but regular attacks like this one, you could you could hit them anywhere, and it won't matter, because you cut through them like a hot knife through butter with a mind's eye jewel. And it also increases power of ranged weapons. This jewel, uh, two slaughter, rarity eight, my favorite, the best jewel in the game, in my opinion, my opinion. I'm sure I'm, I can I race here right now. I'm going to get spammed with hate mail. Ooh, ooh sharp jewels. But this is still doing. They're amazing jewels, too. But I, my personal preference, I love the Mind's Eye Jewel. Took me forever to grind through. And I didn't even know what, what, what it was at first. And then I threw it on. I was like, holy God, this thing is amazing. All right. Moving right along. Let's see. Cover the sharp jewel. And... I think that that will be it for now, y'all. As far as decorations go. Now, let me briefly touch subject on the different types of fey stones. Okay. There are four different types. The mysterious fey stone, the glowing fey stone, the worn fey stone, and the warped fey stone. Now, there is the event, like I was telling y'all, the triple threat throw down that gives you tons of decorations, but they only give you all the mysterious and the glowing fey stones. Now, you can't get, you know, rank 8 at rarity uh, decorations from those two fey stones. Let me explain. Okay, here's the different table, you guys. Okay, for a mysterious fey stone, for a rank a rarity 5 decoration, you have a 3.036% chance to get a specific one. For a specific one for rarity 6, it's 0.429%. And for 7 and 8, from a mysterious fey stone, you can't get those. You can't. Impossible. 0% chance. For glowing, the table is, for rarity 5, 2.321%. For 6, it's 0.971%. For 7, it's 0.045%. And impossible to get rarity 8. Doesn't happen, 0%. Next is the one you get from the final stage of the Elder Melder, or from tier 2 tempered monsters or from tempered elder dragons the worn phase stone from that one for to get a rarity 5 there's a 0.357% chance for rarity 6 there's a 2.343% chance for rarity 7 there's a 0.273% chance and for rarity 8 there's a 0.167% chance to get a specific single level 8 decoration now best chance to get your rarity 8. The best types of face stones in the game are the warped face stones. Now, if you pull a warped face stone, well, you can't there's 0% chance to get a rarity 5. 0% chance. But your chances go up for everything else. For a rarity 6 with a warped face stone, there's a 2.2 percent chance to get a specific one for rarity seven there's a 0.818 percent chance and your highest amount for rarity eight you have a 0.417 percent chance to get a specific rarity eight from a warped face stone sorry got all tongue-tied for a second now the vent triple threat throwdown you can only get the mysterious face stones are the glowing face stones so it's almost impossible to get a seven and it is impossible to get an eight so you're not going to play that event a million times and be like why can i get a uh, rarity eight because they give you they give you a bunch of decorations but it's low to mid-level decorations i mean it's it's on y'all if y'all want to waste the time doing that i mean if there are a few mid-level decorations that you need or you're a younger hunter knock yourself out but in the meantime, I guess that'll conclude our video today. Once again, my name is Ryan Quillen. 
also known as the Medicine Man. And it's been a pleasure speaking with y'all. And y'all have a great day. I am out. Deuces, y'all. Let's see. And if you like the video, like, subscribe, you know, all that good stuff. <laughs> and deuces up in the air. Out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>